next rant is uh, I'm tired. Uh, it'll never go away. But I am so tired of how everyone and their mother has a world record or a national record or a state record. Good Lord, why do you care at this point of what record it is? Man, set a personal record for yourself. Because all these different world records that you have, whether they're drug tested or not, or the knee wraps or sleeves or gear or blah, 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 age group, blah, 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 national record. There's every million uppity category. It's so hard not to cuss. All these stupid categories for you to have a world record. And, oh, well, we got different weight classes and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Like, holy hell. They're so watered down, it doesn't, they hold no weight. What are you gonna, what is it gonna, what are you gonna advertise on your Instagram? What's it gonna get you? Uh, two new followers? Freaking good for you, buddy. If that's what you want, awesome. But uh, if you have not lifted the most ever at that weight class, ever, ever, you don't have a world record. Like, it's not that hard to grasp your head around. You might have a federation record, a federation state record. I know in North Carolina, I can count off 18 different state records, but, and then there's a squat record, the bench record. Now, cool, hang on. There's a point in having goals. Hey, yeah, I want to squat more than this person, blah, 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 blah. I want to squat, I want to say I've squatted the most in North Carolina at the 181 pound weight class. Great, great, have the goal. But how do you know, unless you compile the data, from every federation for North Carolina at 181. Now, oh, well, drug tested for... Listen, drug tested does not mean drug free. Maybe they weren't... Maybe they lifted at a drug tested meet but weren't tested. Maybe they, they could have been on stuff. So, it should be, whether they're on drugs or not, I don't care, they lifted the most ever. Chances are, a lot of the numbers at this point people are using something like benefit of the doubt here so this one gets me going I, I i hate going to meets and hear hey it's another going for a national record going for a world record world record but you know, then we have masters we have every masters class we have sub masters and masters every five years it's a new record why maybe it's the most maybe you have one over four. junior youth masters open there's too many like god i don't know how you if somebody ha finds joy in having that record i don't i would never feel that uh, what's great in the highland games is you have i guess you do have masters which have all the different age groups um but realistically in the highland games there's a record in weightlifting there's the record you have the american record and the world record in weightlifting you also have junior and youth. And they I guess they do have all the masters, but it's so hard to keep up with because there's so many. It needs to be masters. And weightlifting has masters over 35. Why is it over 35? Why not 40? That argument's a whole different day. But like, if we cut down on the number of records, they mean more. That way when you get one, you can be proud of it. And really it means something. Instead, everybody and their mother has a freaking record. I probably have a record. I don't even know. I don't keep up with it. Um, you know, it goes to a point of just better yourself, set your own personal records, and then win the meet. Win what you can. If on that day, put on the bar what you need to be the best overall lifter if you're there, or win your weight class. Out total somebody. That's another rant. We're going to end this one.